Okay, so you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to display a progress bar on your worksheet. So I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is nice and simple and just uses conditional formatting. And the second method, slightly more involved, but it does allow you to show your bars in different colors. So here I've got 100% shown in black and the darker the green, the more the task is completed. Okay, let's go back to this first method and see how it can be done. Now to use this method, you will need a value in the cell where you want the progress bar. So the value here is going to be the completed hours divided by the duration hours. And then I would format that as a percentage value. So with the cell still selected and go up here and click on this percent style button. And I'd probably left a line, the value within the cell. Now I'm going to copy this formula down. So with those cells still selected, on the home tab of your ribbon, go to the conditional formatting button, go to data bars, more rules. Now you've got two settings here, you need to change minimum and maximum. Both types need to be changed to number. The first value is zero and the second value is one one being 100%. Then you can choose your color down here. I'm just going to stick with blue. Click on OK and you get your progress bars. You might want to do something like change the color of the font, which I can do up here. You might also want to change the background color of the cells. So with the cells selected, go up to the fill color button and choose a color. OK, let's move on to the second example. Now to use this method, you will need a value in the cell where you want the progress bar. So the value is going to be the percent complete. So dividing completed hours by the duration, and then we would need to say times by 100. Then we're going to put this formula in the repeat function. So that's R-E-P-T open bracket. And what the repeat function does is allow you to repeat a character or set of characters X number of times. So our character is going to be the pipe character. So I want to repeat the pipe character the number of times calculated by this formula. Now if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see that it gives me, in this instance, 100 pipes. So what you're then gonna to have to do is select that cell and change the font. And the font you want is called Playbill and that'll give you a solid bar. Right, if I copy this down, you can see that it gives me a bar for each of these tasks. Now we can also append the percent complete value at the end of these bars. Now we're gonna do this calculation in a separate cell at the moment. So it would be equals the completed hours divided by the duration, and then format it as a percentage. So we get 100% there. Now what I need to do is to take that calculation and append it to the end of the repeat function. So to append it, I have to concatenate. To do that, I use the ampersand symbol. And then I'd say C2 divided by B2. And if I press enter, you can see it gives me a one, but I need to format it so it says 100%. Now to do that, I need to put my calculation within the text function. So text has two argument, value, which is returned by this calculation, and then format, how you want to format the value. Got to go in speech marks, and it will be 0%. Close the bracket, press enter, and now you get the calculation appended to the end of the bar. And if I copy this down, it'll do it for the other bars. So how do I get the different colors on the bars? Now, if it's 100% complete, I want it to appear in a dark gray. So what I need to do is select all these cells, go up to conditional formatting, that's on the home tab of your ribbon, go to new rule, go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now, what I need to do is say equals the completed hours, and I need to take the dollars out of this cell reference. So I'm pressing the F4 key once, 
twice, three times to get rid of the dollars. The F4 key doesn't work for you. You can just delete the dollars in that cell reference. So C2 divided by B2. Take the dollars out of that. And I need to say, does that equal 1, 100%? If true, I want to format the bar with a gray font. So I go to Format, Font, Color, and choose a dark gray. Click on OK. Click on OK. And you can see that that bar is now a dark gray. Anything that isn't 100% but is over 75%, I want to be in a dark green. So with the cell still selected, I go to Conditional Formatting. I go to New Rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. I've got to do the same calculation. Equals C2 divided by B2 greater than 0.75. So 75%. I go to the Format button. And I'm going to change the font color to this dark green. Click on OK. Click on OK. You can see that it hasn't actually worked very well. Now I have the 100% in that dark green. So what I need to do is go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and change the order of these rules. This first rule I've created needs to be the first rule in the list. So I'm just going to move it up one. Click on Apply. You can see now that the 100% bar gets its gray formatting. Click on OK to confirm. So next I want to say, that any values above 50% but below 75% get a slightly lighter green bar. So with the cell still selected, I go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. It's the same calculation. Completed hours divided by duration. And I'm going to say, is that value greater than 0.5, 50%. If true, format with a slightly lighter green font. So you can see it's made a bit of a mess of it again, and I need to change the order of the rules. So conditional formatting, manage rules. And this rule here needs to be the last rule, so I can just move it down. Click on Apply, click on OK. So next I need to specify the color of the progress bar if the progress is between 25 and 49%. So with the cell still selected, I go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, same calculation. And this time I'm saying, is it greater than 0.25? The format for this will be an even lighter green. Click on OK. And you can see again, it's made a bit of a mess of the conditional formatting. So I've got to go back to Manage Rules. And this last rule I've created needs to be the last rule in the list. So you can see here that you're better starting off with the lower thresholds. Otherwise, all the rules are in the wrong order. So the last rule I need to do is for any percentages between 0 and 24%. So cells still selected. Conditional formatting, new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Same calculation. It will be greater than zero. Format. Choose a color, a lighter green, click on OK, click on OK, and change the order of the rules. And we're done. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.